I don't even have coffee. I'll make one in a minute. And welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm filming in my brand new apartment for the very first time this setup is temporary we're working with it but with that said I am so so excited I'm loving my new apartment if you guys didn't see my moving vlog I'll pop it down below or somewhere up on the screen so you guys can go ahead and watch it but for today's video I'm going to be doing a coffee talk style video with you guys I tweeted you guys asking what um, coffee talk topics you guys wanted to see so I'm gonna open it up and go through some of them we're not gonna make this just like one solid coffee talk topic. I'm just gonna kind of roll through it sort of like a Q&A but more so like a I don't even know it's not even like you guys ask questions you guys just wanted me to talk about certain topics so we're gonna talk about them. Grab your coffee, your tea, your hot chocolate, you know your margarita whatever it is you're drinking and let's this. So Ellen wanted me to talk about how to stay organized and how to be more productive this year. I'm going to be doing a whole series on my channel for the month of January, sort of leading into February, where I kind of want to make each month this year sort of have a theme to it in terms of videos. So for January, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos about like organization, motivation, like kind of getting your life on track, getting life goals, all of that fun stuff. A few things that I have recently picked up that have really helped me in terms of getting organized organized and things like that. One was a brand new file folder that my brother actually got me for Christmas. So I've been using that and every single time there's a piece of paper, a receipt, or something that I know I can't lose. Normally I'm like, oh, I'm too lazy to go put this in my file folder and I'll just like throw it off to the side somewhere only to then lose it. So I'm making a conscious effort to just get up and go put it away exactly where I need it to. And that's not even just in terms of important papers, like everything. If you just want to keep more organized, instead of doing like the lazy version of everything where it's like I'm just gonna hide this behind there or like I'm gonna put this away later I find lately I've just been forcing myself to get up and put it away where it actually is supposed to be and in the right place and it's helping me stay more organized the other thing that's really been helping me stay organized recently is I've started using the notes section on my cell phone and what I'll do is I make my daily to-do lists on there and the nice thing about that is it syncs up with my laptop so every time I'm working I can pull out my notes on there and see what I have left to do and they have an option on the iPhone to like check it off once it's done so I've been really using that especially in terms of moving I have all my routines on my notes um, I have my grocery lists, my to-do lists for at least the next like three to four days. Um, for those of you guys that maybe don't, don't like to use planners, this is super helpful. Or you can combine it with your planner like I did. But I, with moving, didn't have my planner on me all the time. So using my notes as like a check off to-do lists and I have like lists of things to do in, in terms of moving or lists for things to do in terms of like upcoming trips and stuff like that and each note is separate it's just so nicely organized on my phone there's no papers and so I highly recommend trying out the notes on your iPhone I only recently like it's always been there but I always just overlooked it okay so Megan wants to know some de-stressing tips during a stressful point in your life or little things that help you get through a bad day I feel like in terms of getting through a bad day I like to have certain little things that I do specifically for bad days that I'll know will make me feel better for instance I'm really trying to budget and save money right now and just be more like adult and wise and mature when it comes to money so I've stopped buying Starbucks I've stopped like ordering food and things like that and not that it's necessarily a good thing to reward yourself with food but when I'm really having a bad day like everything's falling apart on me or something really bad has happened or I just feel really low and down I'll either give myself that little treat of going out and grabbing a Starbucks because I don't do that anymore or ordering myself some food and putting on my favorite TV show. When I save those things for just when I'm having a bad day, it's like a little treat instead of doing it all the time. Other things you can do when you're having a bad day is like draw yourself a bubble bath and again, bring your laptop in and like set it up on your like the top of your toilet and like watch your favorite show in the bubble bath and don't let anybody bother you. Another really awesome tip you could do too is have a little jar and every time you have extra change or extra bills every now and then just throw it into this jar and make it for like you know people do that for a rainy day you could do this for a bad day so that if you know you're having the crummiest day of the world grab your jar take all the money out and go get yourself something nice whether it be the food the Starbucks or a nice workout top 
or a new lipstick, a new foundation, something that's just gonna lift your spirits up. When I feel overwhelmed, that is definitely when I am the most stressed. So how I keep from getting there is making sure that I write down every single thing that I need to remember. And that is, again, I know I've talked about this already, but that's where my, my notes on my phone comes in super handy because anytime something pops in my head, my phone is always on me and I'll just write it into my to-do list, whether it be my um, something I need to do that day, the next day, or the next day. Or if it's something that you need to do by the end of the month, I also have a note that's like January to-dos. February to do's and you can add it into one of those. Holly Reed says, I'd love to hear your thoughts on balance and stress. You know, work, life, YouTube friends, spinning all the plates. Um, <laughs> in terms of balance, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, sometimes my life is not near as balanced as it should be, but I'm also really lucky in the sense that my work life is also my passion and my hobby, but because of that, I tend to get so zoned in on videos and writing and you know like all the little tiny things I'm trying to do that I do definitely get off balance one thing I like to do is always plan for one specific thing each week whether it be seeing a friend going out like for dinner to a movie or something like that that keeps my social life you know in check it keeps me from being a loner for the rest of my life. Having a certain time in the day where I decide no more work is gonna be done after that, it keeps me from overwhelming myself and filling my plate too much with things I wanna get done. And in terms of like health and fitness, I always make this my top priority because if you don't take care of yourself, there's no way you're gonna have the time or the energy or the mental like clarity to be able to deal or balance anything else. So number one for me is always my health and my and being fit because like getting my workout in and making sure I'm eating healthy relatively most of the time, it makes it so much easier for me to balance all the rest like friends and work and writing and just day to day living. Just kind of schedule certain days like Fridays try and make plans with people so that you know you have a social life. Sundays, make that your cleaning day where you get all your chores done. Make sure that you're stopping work after 8 or 9 p.m. Make sure you're getting your time in for your own mental clarity and your mental health. And having like those set aside days or specific times is going to make balancing so much easier. H slash at Annie wants to know how to fight laziness. Okay. This is gonna sound so simple. I used to sit around and be like, but I can't find the motivation. I have to wait to have the motivation to do the action. But I recently finished reading, actually, like two days ago, this book called, excuse my um, language, but The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And it is such a good book, you guys need to read it. There's something he talks about in there where in a chapter, he goes into all of these people that wrote into him for help being like, how do I do this? How do I go out and find friends? How do I go up to somebody I find? How do all of these people have the time to work out every day? How do I find the motivation to do this? And he put it so simply that it kind of hit me like a brick wall. He was like, there is no how, you just do it. I think we sit back and try and figure out how to do it right or what's the best way to do this or I'm waiting for the motivation to find the inspiration to do it. When in a lot of the times, if we just do it, we'll figure it out. Either it will work and we'll get it done right away. Like if it's fighting laziness to get off the couch and go work out, it's not even how do I fight the laziness, it's just, you just have to do it. You just have to get up and go work out and stop thinking about it. Do it, like it's that simple. I just, Shia LaBeouf just said it so well. Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! You just have to do it. Even if you're not exactly sure what it is you should be doing, Nobody knows what we should be doing. You just sit around and wait for this motivation to kick your butt off the couch or kick your butt out of bed. It's just not gonna happen. Action leads to motivation, which leads to inspiration, which leads to more action. It all starts with action. I know, it's that simple, it really is, but I am my own self-sabotage. And last but not least, the final topic we're going to go into is from Jillian. She wants to know your future goals, dreams, places you wanna visit, and your bucket list. And, okay, let's, let's dive in, shall we? Um, so, my future goals. Right now, I try not to make myself too far of future goals because I think that life can constantly detour and it should constantly detour. But in terms of my future goals for this year, I really wanna get Dreamcatcher published. Um, I really wanna travel a lot this year and I know that that's kind of a broad 
um, idea to just travel a lot, but whenever there's the opportunity to travel, I want to say yes. For instance, I really want to go to Iceland and see the Northern Lights. I'm not sure if I'll get that done this year, but I definitely want to get it done in the next year or two. Some other places I'd really love to travel are Australia, New Zealand, basically anywhere. I am so open to traveling absolutely anywhere. And then in terms of my bucket list, some really important things on my bucket list are seeing the Northern Lights, skydiving, I really want to go skydiving, facing my fears of massive bodies of water, i.e. oceans and lakes, by forcing myself to scuba dive. <sighs> like my chest just tightened even thinking about that. There's so many things that like I want to do. I want to, I want to do a color run. There's like, you can walk the edge of the CN Tower here in Toronto and it's something that like, it's like a low-key bucket list thing, but I just think it'd be really fun, so I want to do that this year. And I really want to learn a new language, which I'm actually in the process of doing. I'm officially 3% fluent in French. Basically, I want to do it all. There's not much on this earth that I wouldn't want to try. If you guys have any, you know, bucket list things, places to travel, or future goals, please leave them down below because I'm curious as to know what you guys are up to and what you guys are spending your time doing. And I am going to end this coffee talk here, except I never got around to making that coffee. And resume. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this coffee talk. I love you guys to the absolute moon and back. And as always, if you guys have any videos that fit the theme of January, AKA organization, routines, all of that fun stuff, leave your video request down below and I'll absolutely start working on them as of literally probably tomorrow because I'm officially moved in and so there's not much else for me to do. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I'm just gonna get up and cheers you guys now because happy coffee talk. Bend your chest open so I can reach your heart I need to get inside or I will start a war